Well, it has been nearly a year since the RAG fire tore through the Stebbins Cold Canyon Reserve. That's operated by UC Davis. And since then, it has been closed to the public. But this weekend, it reopens. CBS 13's Macy Jenkins with more on what visitors can expect. I'm Macy Jenkins, and I'm at the Stebbins Cold Canyon Reserve. Ten months after the RAG fire, you can still see the remnants of some of the scorched earth. Well, this weekend, it reopens for the first time since last summer, and volunteers hope the changes will make everyone's experience positive. How far did this fire spread? Uh, it started over on this slope and then just really quickly swept through down and back up the other side. It burned a total of about 8,000 acres. In the scorching heat of July 2015, the rag fire rips through the brush, burning every cottonwood and blue oak in the way. And first in its path, the UC Davis Stebbins Cold Canyon Natural Reserve. Jeffrey Clary is the reserve's director. This site is, is a, a site that the university runs uh, for teaching and research. Just 30 miles from UC Davis, it's a natural training ground for those studying the environment. All the UC Davis campus and Berkeley campus folks have been really engaged with the site to, to learn what they can about climate change in California because, you know, it's here, it's now, and this was a perfect illustration of that. He says the lack of visitors since the fire has given volunteers time to make changes to the area. This is a real step up from people who were were used to this place with basically no improvements. New steps and signs now lead visitors from a new parking area to the tunnel. And Clary hopes it keeps people from crossing the busy road to get to the trail. So this is a California morning glory. Something he's eager to start again, citizen science programs that put the public face to face with outdoor research. For now, the reserve's recovery is going to be mainly hands off as the researchers watch nature take its course. We're hoping people can come out and, and, and see the landscape and in this new way because certainly it looks for those who've been here before it's going to look really different. With so many of the trees gone, there isn't a lot of shady area left near the reserve. So Clary recommends that you get here early and be ready to face the sun.